Yeah, uh, Michele, Rashmi, thank you very much for the invitation of being here. Well, um, <clears throat> as mentioned, I'm a cardiac surgeon, I'm not a cardiologist, and um, I don't have a potential conflict of interest. Nevertheless, I have a little bit something to declare. I'm a cardiac surgeon, I'm not feeling as well with um, hypothetic theoretical statistics. I'd rather go for the real world data and real world results. Nevertheless, another uh, inflect, uh, conflict to um, uh, to, uh, to uh, present that's I'm married to the daughter of interventional cardiologist, uh, one that was involved very early on in development of stents or Rick Sigward. So I might certainly feel biased towards stents sometimes as well. Nevertheless, when I started to look at this question about uh, syntax 2 and Excel, how it's going to change the landscape or not change the landscape, being at the ESC as a cardiac surgeon, I felt a little bit um, lonely, I would say. And I looked at this picture like one of those gladiators looking up to Caesars before they're going to be eaten by a lion. Nevertheless, I looked back to last week, my last week work, and this is a 48-year-old gentleman that just underwent a, intervention, a diagnostic coronary angiogram for the RCA. You can see what happens here. Awful. It's just a dissection. This is standard. It was just a standard diagnostic routine procedure with a type A dissection, iatrogenic. It was stented through the RCA but without result. The end was at uh, about 11 o'clock at night was this uh, nice little surgical case here with a complete reconstruction of his root, a aortic art replacement, triple bypass revascularization, etc. So this is all, it's nice to do it all percutaneous, small cuts, very easy, catheters, etc. But the end is what it takes and what the results are for the patients. And everything you do has its downsides as well. So I started to feel more comfortable about this talk and said, let's make PCI just become smoke compared to cabbage. And then looking at the um, data out there, um, cardiovascular news, best surgery is still top option. So yes, of course, there is Syntax 2, there is Excel, but why should I just be sticking with two studies that have the most PR because the drivers behind are good, good PR people? Well, there's much more studies out there that give uh, opponent or, or contradiction results. So I start to feel rather like those two boys down here, uh, greeting Julius Caesar and feeling more, more comfortable. So if one is looking at um, best clinical practice, Practice. You shouldn't stick to one study, you should go back and look at guidelines. And as you can see here on this guideline committee, interestingly enough, is that many of those guys, Volkmar Falk, for example, was in Switzerland, he left, Peter Uni is in Switzerland, Ulf Langmesser, he also uh, left Switzerland, is now in, in Berlin, but Giulio Stefanini is now in Milan, was in Switzerland, Marco Valmilli is right now in Switzerland, and of course, uh, Stefan Winderger, um, uh, my, my colleague, cardiologist and friend at, uh, at the Bern Heart Center. So those are the most knowledgeable, the people have been most involved into looking what is evidence for patients with coronary artery disease and uh, outcome regards of their treatment options. And if, I know this is, of course, old information, but let's build it up slowly. Um, ECT, EACTS guidelines um, found no evidence if you compare medical treatment with PCI. Um, so old data, nevertheless the, the information is round and still printed in 2014 guidelines. Um, if you look at uh, drug eluding stents versus uh, bare metal stents, did not report a low risk of death. Okay. Uh, Revascularization with the use of coronary artery bypass grafting. Survival benefits from cabbage in patients with left main or triple vessel stable coronary artery disease. Only 10% of cabbage patients received an internal mammary artery. So old studies, nowadays, well, we get to over 90% getting mammary arteries. And even more so, we do complete arterial revascularization. Um, what's about the um, Perkinase coronary intervention versus coronary bypass grafting. Neither PCI nor cabbage alone can provide a solution to the entire spectrum of stable coronary artery disease. I think this is a very good sentence. Cabbage results in more complete, complete revascularization than PCI. And it goes on and on, proximal left anterior descending coronary artery disease, but a three-fold increase in recurrent angina and five-fold increase in repeat revascularization with PCI. It all seems to speak for cabbage, really. And finally, left main coronary artery disease, the syntax score, so syntax score about 32 of complex coronary artery disease, was associated, cabbage was associated with numerically lower mortality, 14.1% compared to 20.9% mortality for PCI. Triple vessel coronary artery disease, at five years, cabbage as compared with PCI significantly reduced maize. 
These are well-known numbers that have been shown by Pascal just before, so I skipped those. And finally, the guidelines on myocardial revascularization. And if I look at the left column on the cabbage, I can only see green number ones, and I can see some green number ones on the PCI column. Um, but if I look at level of evidence, even a two-vessel disease with proximal LD stenosis is a level of evidence C for PCI when it's B for cabbage. Now, syntax trial design, I won't go into details, is well known here. But I looked at the syntax score, and this is quite a complex procedure. And I very much have the impression that the trial design is being made in order to really match the technical side of PCI, not looking at the technical side, really, of surgery. So we look at target vessels. We look at the target lesion. We don't look at the lesion itself. The lesion itself, we don't care. It just needs to be significant. But we look beyond, and we create a bypass that will bring the fresh blood distally to the lesion. But cardiologists, the PCI stenting plus the technical side, has to look at the lesion itself because it deals with the lesion. So all the scores have been made to make sure that the easier the lesion, the better PCI, but it don't incorporate the difficulty or the, the ease of the anastomosis of the distal target. So if you take a standard patient, I just took a, 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 a sample patient that would be a real world, I get a, a, SD, a, a, a syntax score of between 32 and 30, uh, 22 and 33, uh, that's a 26 score, and if I look at the outcome, uh, maize outcomes, we have 21 maize in cabbage for 32% maize in PCI. So in the standard patients, we're better with cabbage as well. So I, I don't want to go through all this data because Basca has shown it much better than I will ever be able to show it to you. But but in all those slides, I can see that there certainly is a benefit of cabbage compared to PCI. That's the blue line on the bottom. So even Patrick Serro stated, cabbage should remain the standard of care for patients with complex lesion. Low or intermediate syntax score, PCI is an acceptable alternative. So syntax score, yes. But now, how can you even improve further results of PCI in this is, you, you can perform by even better modifying the factors you're looking at. So you create, you augment the syntax score to become syntax two. But I also had, um, looking at those two statements, I was quite surprised to read here, long-term clinical outcome. We talk about four, five years now, and syntax two will be finalized by next year, so it's not even finished. And if you look at a long-term outcome, then you should incorporate that Survival benefits of a single mammary artery in patients with multivessel coronary artery disease is initially reported after a decade of follow-up, has now been extended into second and third decades, 30 years of follow-up. So we are six times behind, especially with bilateral mammary arteries. So somehow I get the impression that cardiology is doing a really good work, but it's a Sisyphus work, because every time you're waiting for the next generation stand, trying a new study, uh, certainly is the way to go. But the curves always stay behind. Even though you're trying to find segments of patients that might better be suited for PCI, but I don't get the impression that over time there's a lot of advantage in the, on the PCI side. This curve is the cardiac surgeon's curve, this is the PCI curve, and this is Sisyphus trying to pull up the stone that always rolls back down. So syntax score, might that be promising to even outperform cardiac surgery? I don't know, future will tell. But what we know already is that the um, syntax score too has been used to predict already the results of next year um, um, showings. So syntax score two has been showing that surgery will be worse than PCI, but this is all hypothetical. Next year will only show us what is the real data. So I'm really surprised that we, we are discussing here so hypothetical future um, results without really having the real world results, and this is being called major limitation of this prediction is also the greatest strength. So I really would ask what this sentence means um, as a cardiac surgeon, or rather as a patient. And if you look at this um, left, ventricular, uh, left ventricular ejection fraction subpopulation, so lower ejection fraction of 50% or less, um, cabbage is outperforming PCI. What well, is actually surprising to me, I would have expected to be a different the other way around. So let's see what 2016 is going to show. But then let's look again beyond syntax and excel. Freedom trial, for example, for patients with diabetic and advanced coronary artery disease, cabbage was superior to PCI. Best trial, 
best surgery is still top option for multivessel disease, all driven by cardiologists, those trials. Our best trial curves, you can see here the blue curve PCI, the red curve cabbage, primary endpoint, secondary endpoints on the bottom. In both cases, cabbage is stronger. And then if you go to the uh, trial booklet of your PCR, your intervention, and just look at studies comparing, this is all cardiology driven and cardiology made, that are comparing cabbage and PCI. And you can see here on the bottom, for example, syntax five years. Well, I'm going to repeat myself. For patients with low syntax score, PCI may be acceptable, may be acceptable. Um, mass to, mass to 10 year results. Cabbage was associated with a higher rate of event free survival. And so on and so on. Let me just skip this in the interest of time. For example, here, um, CAR trial, this study did not show in non inferiority, not show non inferiority of PCI versus cabbage in diabetic patients. I really wonder how, how complex you have to formulate in order to make belief that PCI might be better than cabbage. But anyway, if I look at this again, as I mentioned, how many more stent generation do we need until we start to agree that cabbage is probably the best option for your patient that you can have because cabbage looks at distal targets, doesn't look at the complexity of lesions. Thank you very much for your attention.